I want to do a quick run through of uh, some color matching uh, using Photoshop and using an image adjustment. Uh, so I've got two hands here. They've been cut out. Uh, they're isolated onto their own layer. You see I've got a background that's gray and then I've got a layer with just these two hands on it. I want to make the hand on the right uh, look like the hand on the left. I, I want to match the skin tones and that kind of a thing. Uh, so uh, Photoshop has an image adjustment uh, called match color. We go up under image adjustments and right down here to match color. Uh, now by default, without any sort of uh, prep work being done, this is not really going to do anything at all for us. Um, the one thing I guess we could do is this neutralize checkbox. Very good for removing color casts. Uh, Photoshop will actually analyze the image you've selected and perform a uh, color cast removal on it. So if we look at this image, for example, it's got a very strong sort of a reddish uh, color cast, of course, because skin tones. If I click neutralize, you'll see that those uh, go away. We still have a little bit of color maintained, uh, but that strong color cast is gone. Uh, pretty useless to us in this case, uh, but could be useful for some other things. Uh, for what we need to do, we have to do some prep work. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection. It doesn't have to be at all accurate, but I'm going to make a selection of the range of colors that I need to use to make my adjustment. So, again, the idea is that this, uh, this right hand is going to be made to match the coloration of the left hand. So on the left hand, I need to find a selection of sort of a whole range of colors that I want to use in the adjustment that I'm doing to the right hand. So we're going to go over here and just grab my lasso tool and I'm just going to make a simple sort of a selection here. I'll go in and just kind of grab uh, some pieces like this um, and I just want to make sure that what I get is kind of a representative sample of shadows, highlights, and midtones. I just want to make sure I have a full range. If I don't get a full range then I'm only working with a very limited color set, and when I recolor this other image, it's going to come out looking very silly. Uh, so I'll go up here, just change my selection mode, I'll select minus. There's this black wristband, I don't need that as part of my uh, part of my color sample, so um, we'll just get rid of that. So now I've got this selection of just the areas that I would use to make the colors match between the two images. Uh, and maybe I'll just add a little bit more in here, just kind of... You know, the more tones you can get, the better. Uh, because I've got this hand pretty well cut out, I'll just use uh, most of it. But again, you can get uh, a little bit specific with it as well. So, with all this cut out, I need to put this onto a new layer. So I'll do Layer, New, Layer via Copy. That's this guy right here. And everything in the, inside of that selection pops up onto a new layer here. I'll just turn off the one with the, the layer with two hands. And you can see now I've got a layer with just the pieces that I had selected. So all that I'm looking at here is a sample of skin tones. So, with that in place, we'll go back to layer 0, and the other thing I need to do is before I apply an adjustment to this layer, I need to select the area where the adjustment will take place. I don't want to adjust both hands, I just want this hand. So I'll go in here and I'll just make a cutout, a selection around that hand. Again, doesn't have to be precise because the hand's already been cut out. So, I've got my selection, I've got this other layer that's got uh, just sort of a hand on it. I've got my layer with the two hands selected, now I'm ready. I can go image adjustments, and again, I can go to match color. And now I can start to work with some of these options. Uh, first thing we can take a look at, at here is ignore selection when applying adjustment. Not something I need in this case. In this case, I actually want what's inside of the selection to be the thing that is adjusted. So I don't want to ignore the selection. So I'll leave uh, that unchecked. We may need to tweak these later. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, the better we, we do with our selections and stuff. Uh, the less like we have to, uh, likely we have to use these things. Now we come down to our image statistics, and we're just going to work with this a little bit. So my source is going to be the image that I'm currently in, and then all that I have to do, uh, and this will all of a sudden change the appearance of this right hand, is just choose this second layer that I made. You see we have a little preview over here of, of the layer that we're working on. So I've got uh, layer 0. By default it just selects the one I was using. So right now it's using the layer itself, uh, which isn't making any changes, but I want to use layer 2. That's the layer that had only the, the selection of hand skin tones. So I'll go ahead and just select that, and immediately we see the changes take place. And you see in the preview here that now we're just using uh, color from the, the other hand, and we can see what this has done. Now, at this point I could tweak this a little bit. We've got some, some additional checkboxes here. I could say use the selection in source to calculate colors. Um, if I check or uncheck that, that's not really going to do anything because uh, my selection source is actually of nothing. Um, and then use the selection in the target to calculate the adjustment. I do want to do that. If I uncheck it, you'll see that I lose all of my luminosity adjustments. So I definitely want to say take what I've selected here 
and use that as part of the calculating process. And now, basically, we're done. I mean, you go ahead and take a look here, and you see that in the dark shadow areas, I've got basically the so same tonality, and then I've got sort of same kind of mid-tones going on. Everything really, uh, really does sort of match. So then we'll just go ahead and click OK. And at this point, I can come in here, and this is this top layer that I just used for my adjustment. I can just throw that away. I don't need it anymore. And I'll just remove my selection. And from there, I'm all set. You may have some work to do uh, with adjusting the lighting, but that's another topic for another time.